Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video I'll be showing you how to change your blog accepts length on your Divi posts. Okay so in our first example here we're going to change the automatic accept length for Divi standard blog page and the category page. So over here in my dashboard what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and assign a page to my blog. So to do that, all you need to do is to create a page. You can name it whatever you want. So in my case, I named it blog. So I'm just coming here to all my pages and we can see that I've named it blog and it's the post page. And now to assign that page as a blog page, you need to come over here to settings and then go to reading. So that blog page that we created is now assigned to the post page and this is how you assign it here. All the code that we're going to use throughout this tutorial will be linked in the notes below. Okay, so once you've assigned your blog page, go ahead and click on save changes. Okay, so now that we have all this set up, the next thing we're going to do now is to make some changes to our files. So coming over here to my desktop, this is my FTP client. So the first thing we need to do here is to duplicate the index.php file from your main DV folder onto your child theme. So over here in themes, what you need to do is to go into DV, double click that, and then you need to locate the index.php file. So in this case, it's right here. So what I did to make things easier for me is I just drag that to my desktop. In fact, I'll just go onto my desktop here. I'll just drag this to my desktop. So I'll be making changes to this and then uploading it onto my site. So now that I have it on my desktop here, I need to go back to my themes and go back to my child theme. Okay, now you can see I already have this file. So all I did was I just clicked on it and then dragged it onto my server into my child theme. Okay, so the changes that we need to make here are right here. So you need to open this file with your text editor. Now I just use my basic text editor, uh, which comes by default with Mac, which is the text edit. Now in here, you need to locate a line. And to do that, to make things easier is I just use the function command F. I'm not sure how you do it on the PC, but this is how I can easily search for what I need to uh, search for in here. Truncate post, and it has 270. So this is the length of the characters. So you can change this to whatever you want. You can change this to say uh, 470 if you want to. And, th and then after you've done that, click on save. So now that it's saved, all you have to do now is to upload this onto your child theme. Okay, so I'm just gonna click on replace. Now, if I go to my blog page, which I'll open in a new tab like that, and then clicking blog. You can see here that um, this has changed. Now, just to prove that, because we didn't see the before stage, I'll just go back again and then just change this so that, and then refresh it. So back over here, I'm gonna go into my index.php. I'm gonna open this with text edit, and I'm going to locate that uh, line again. So we can see here it's set to 470. Now I can just, um, bring it down, say, to about uh, 270, and let's see what happens. So now I'm gonna save that, and then close it. Now back over here to our site, if I refresh, you can see now that has decreased in size. So that's how you do it. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, in the next example we're gonna do here is we're gonna change the length of Divi's blog module post accepts. Okay, so back over here onto our files, the first thing we need to do is to create this folder called custom-modules, okay? So this folder does not come by default with your child theme. So you need to create this folder. Now, the, easy, the best way to create this is just to right click, click on new folder, and then you can just name it that way. But I've gone ahead and named mine already, as we can see here. Now, after you've done that, the next thing you need to do is to create a file called cbm.php. So this file here needs to reside in the customs modules folder. Once you've created the cbm.php file, what you need to do is to open it and paste some code, which can be found on our blog post. So back over here to our website, what we need to do is to apply the blog module onto um, any of our pages. So what I'm gonna do here is just to create a brand new page. So I'm just gonna call this page tests blog. 
So you can name this page whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go ahead and choose use the div builder. And then I'm going to insert some columns, single column, and I'm going to insert the blog module. Okay, so instead of having full width, I'm just going to have it as a grid. And everything else is okay here. I'm going to click on save and exit. Click on publish, and then we're going to do a quick preview. So we can see here that our our length is set to a very high um, number of characters. So this is what we need to reduce to make sure that um, we get the desired height that we need. So let's go back to our file and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so what I need to do next is to go into my cbm.php file. So I'm just gonna open it here on my uh, local computer and then I'm gonna open this with text edit. So what I'm going to do next is to search for a line. Okay, so this is roughly the line I need to search for. So we can see it here. So this is where now you have the number of characters that you need to specify. So you can make it whatever you want. So here I'm just going to leave it at, say, maybe 300. So once you've done that, all you need to do is to save this and then upload this onto your server. Okay, so with that saved, what you can do then is to come over here to your customs.modules. So this is the file that you need to replace. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace that. Now, the reason why I've done this is because I like making my changes first on my, um, on my file on my computer and then upload it back onto the server. Because sometimes if you try and make the changes here, there's a bit of inconsistencies that happen. Sometimes the uh, server doesn't sync properly. So the best way to do it is to make the customizations here on my local computer and then upload it onto my server. So I hope that's not confusing. Okay, so now that we have the cbm.php uh, file updated, what we need to do is to go back and update the functions.php file. So I'm gonna go back to my child theme here and go into my functions.php. So again, I'm gonna download this to my computer. Okay, so now it's on my desktop right here. So I'm going to open this with my text editor as before. And then what we need to do here is to paste this code. Now, okay, so this is what's in my uh, child theme. So if your file has code in there, what you need to do is to just um, add the code after the code you have in your file. So in this case, all you need to do is just um, make sure that you paste the code like that. Because if you overwrite the code that's in your uh, function.php, that won't work. Okay, so once you've done that, you can go ahead and save it and then upload it back to your server. So now let's take a look at our website and see if that has made any changes. So now if we come over to our website, you can see now that uh, except they're not as long as they were before, now they're much shorter. So that's how you do the changes to that file. So let's move on to the next part. Okay, so finally, let's say you don't want to use the uh, other methods that I've been showing you because sometimes it can be a bit challenging uploading and downloading these files and making changes to these PHP files. One of the easiest ways you could do this is to come over here to DV, click on theme options, and then under the general settings here, you need to scroll all the way down until you find use accepts when defined. Make sure that is enabled and then click on save changes. Now, Let's go in and let's do an edit to one of our posts. So if I come over here to post and then click on all posts, I'm going to go over here to post one, click on edit. Now on the bottom here, we can see where it says except. So this is where we can paste our excepts and this will be the uh, amount of characters that will be shown on our post. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on update and then we're going to take a look and see if that has made a change. So you can see here that this size has decreased. So go ahead and do these to all your posts and this should work correctly for you. Now, there are cases where you might not have this showing. So what you need to do is to come over here to screen options and then make sure that this is enabled here where it says accept because sometimes it's disabled by default. So all you need to do is just enable it here and then close that and then add your accepts here and then click on update. So using this method, this also works on our blog page and also on the blog except. So if I go to the blog page, which we uh, created earlier on, we can see that these are the two posts, post one and post two, uh, that are customized. And this one is just there by default. So this also applies to the blog page and also 
the blog module. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we produce a video. We are going to be producing more videos similar to what you're seeing today. So until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.